dad was taken to the hospital? What happened? Yeah, you gotta come right away! My name is Yukiko Ueno. I'm 28 years old and I'm a full-time housewife. I'm currently making my way to the hospital where my dad was admitted because of a phone call I got from my older brother telling me that our dad had an accident. I don't know the details and can only pray that my dad is okay. Yusuaki! Yukiko, I'm sorry for calling you so suddenly. That doesn't matter. Tell me, is dad okay? What happened to him? What have the doctor said? Apparently, he was climbing the stairs to a footbridge when he slipped and fell backwards. His doctor said he's got compound fractures in both legs, and he hit his head pretty hard. So they're observing him to check if he's got a concussion. He's having tests done right now. Oh my god. This is my elder brother, Yasuaki Kabuchi. He's eight years older than I am, but we're very close. We lost our mother when we were both young, and were both brought up by our father in a single-parent household. Yasuaki was less older brother and more like a parent to me when our dad was at work, so we have a pretty strong bond, even now. Our dad did his best to raise us single-handedly, and I have a lot of respect for him sacrificing so much for us. He's a wonderful father. He's always been so energetic, going on walks every single day and doing all the housework on his own, so I thought he would be okay. Well, he is getting on in age. We can't expect him to be active forever. <sighs> I should have been more careful and kept an eye on him. It's not your fault, Yusuaki. We're not living with him, so there was no way to predict something like this would happen. After that, we were called in to see our dad's doctor, and she explained his condition to us. Fortunately, the test showed that there wasn't any trauma to his brain, and we were told that he could leave the hospital once his legs had been treated too. We were relieved to hear that it was nothing serious, but that didn't change the fact that our dad was going to be bedridden, and because of his age, there was no certainty that he would completely recover from his injuries. He was going to have to spend a few months in bed and would have to use a wheelchair to move around. As a result, it was almost definite that he would lose muscle strength and wouldn't be able to do things on his own the way he had been doing up until now. The doctor warned us that. As well as having difficulty in getting by in his daily life, the lack of movement and independence could also lead to an increased risk of suffering from Alzheimer's. I'm sorry, kids. I can't believe this is happening. Just because I lost my balance for a split second, I was too careless. I'm sorry. Don't say that, Dad. You don't have to say sorry. You've worked so hard to raise us and sent us to school. You've worked your ass off to make us happy. So now, it's our turn to give something back to you. We'll take care of you, so don't worry. Yosuaki's right, Dad. Don't think about any of that stuff right now. Just think about getting better, okay? Thanks, Yasuaki. Yukiko, I'm a happy man. I really am. I'm the luckiest man alive because I have two strong, kind kids like you by my side. Our dad spent his entire life raising us. He didn't have any help and didn't have any rest. He worked, he fed us, and put a roof over our heads. I didn't want to send him to a care home and was determined to work something out so that I could take care of him myself. I decided to talk to my brother and hope that we could figure something out together. Hmm, it's probably best to renovate dad's house since it's got the most space. We'll have to put in a home care bed, and we'll have to make the toilet and the bathroom a little bigger so that the wheelchair can fit. Oh yeah, if he's going to move around in a wheelchair, then we'll have to lose the stairs and the steps to the kitchen. He'll need a slope to the front door too. Judging by our budget, it might be easier and more economic to build a whole new house for him. Either way, I'll pay for the renovations. I've still got some savings from when I was single so I can pay from that. You're a lifesaver, Yukiko! Dad said that he's happy to go into a care home, but I want to avoid that completely, if possible. I don't want him to be alone. We can think about care services and stuff if we feel that it's too much for us to handle on our own. Yeah, I feel the same way. I want to spend more time with him too. Let's just deal with things one after the other. I'm sure we'll get by. Just like that, we decided to renovate our dad's house into a barrier-free, all-accessible building. We found out that we could receive money from the government if we could prove that we were in need of the reform. However, the only problem was that we didn't know where to let our dad stay while the house was being renovated. We couldn't make him stay at the hospital for any longer than he was welcome, and it came down to us to decide whether he would stay with my brother or if he would stay with me and my husband. But even that proved to be difficult. What? Seriously? You want your dad to live with us? Uh, I don't know. It won't be permanent. Just for a while until the house is ready for him to move back in. When that's done, Yusuaki is going to live with him and be his caretaker. 
I'll just be visiting every now and then to help him out. Then why can't he live with Yasuaki until the house is done? It's as simple as that! My brother's apartment is too small. He doesn't have the space to fit in a home care bed, but we have a whole room to spare. We can easily put a home care bed in that spare room. I'm not going to ask you to do anything for him. It'll just be me, and it won't affect you at all. Please, Misaki. Of course it'll affect me! If your dad's here, then it'll cost just as much to pay for food and the bills. We can't afford to keep him here. He's just going to be in the way. Besides, that spare room is for when we have kids. We won't be able to use it if he's sleeping in it. But it's not like we're planning on having a baby anytime soon. So what if it's occupied for a while? How can we be sure about that? We don't know when we might get pregnant. If we do, then he'll have to move out anyway. And by the way, I agree to let you spend your personal savings on renovating his house. But that doesn't mean that I was happy with it. I wanted to say no. So you're gonna have to let me say no to this one, Yukiko. My husband didn't seem to want to help and coldly refused to welcome my dad into our home. I couldn't deny that it would be more of a burden for him because I was a housewife and was completely reliant on him financially. However, in exchange for that, I was confident that I was taking care of the housework perfectly to make life more comfortable for him. I wasn't being lazy and I wasn't cutting corners. Whenever he invited his colleagues over to watch baseball, I always prepared something lavish for them and thought that I had been a devoted wife. I had been committed to being a full-time housewife for his sake. I couldn't even believe that he would be so cold toward my dad and towards me, despite everything I had done for him. You're kidding! Masaki actually said that? I didn't realize that he was such an arrogant guy. He didn't seem like the type to be so controlling. I didn't realize either. I don't know what I should do anymore. I want to help dad, but... <sighs> don't worry, Yukiko. You can leave dad to me. He can stay at my apartment. But where are you going to find a space to fit his bed and stuff? It's going to take up a lot more space than a regular bed frame. I'll work something out. I can probably get rid of the bookshelf in my bedroom and put all of my other stuff into storage until Dad's house is ready. It'll fit somehow. Don't worry. Really. But it's a good thing that I'm single. I wouldn't have been able to do this if I was married. <laughs> Thanks, Yusaki. I know. Within a few days, Yusaki had his apartment tidied up and he was able to welcome Dad into his home. I ended up relying on my brother to take care of Dad on his own. But even though the problem of where my dad would live was solved, I couldn't help but feel some irritation toward my husband and lost trust in him for being so cold. Hey, your brother's going to take care of your dad, right? Don't tell me he's coming to live with us. Yeah, dad's going to live with Yusuaki. Oh, really? Good. I just wanted to check. He's going to live at Yusuaki's, but I don't think it's fair to make my brother shoulder all of the responsibility on his own. So I was thinking about starting a part-time job, but... What do you think? It'll just be during the day. Why do you have to start a part-time job? You're a housewife! I want to send some money to my brother every month to help pay for his bills. It'll make things a lot easier for him, and we'll need some more savings for the future if we're planning on having children. It won't hurt to have more money saved. Well, I guess that's better than him coming and saying that he wants us to take over with taking care of your dad. But just because you're going to start working a part-time job doesn't mean you can slack on the housework, understood? Yeah, of course I won't. Thank you, Masaki. I don't remember him being this intimidating or this arrogant first met. He was so kind and sweet dating. I felt like I could rely on him for anything. I trusted him. Bit by bit, I started to feel like I was suffocating when I was home. I couldn't bear it when Masaki was in the house. Yusuaki, how's dad doing? Is he getting better? We've got some care workers coming to help during the day, and he's been dropping by the local senior get-together every now and then to play brain games, watch movies, and eat lunch together, so he looks like he's been having a lot of fun. I think he's doing great. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm sorry, Yusuaki. I've been meaning to go and visit you guys more often, but whenever I mention that I want to go out, Masaki doesn't seem too happy, and he's been complaining a lot more lately. Hey, Yukiko, do you know the reason why Masaki's so harsh on you? Why does he have to be so difficult? I don't understand why he had a problem with you going out to work part-time either. You just wanted to help us and help him save some money for the future. He's an only child, and his mom was a housewife her entire life. I think that that's why he thinks that a husband and wife can exist. I think that he assumed that I meant that I thought he's not earning enough when I said I wanted to work and got offended. That's probably why he doesn't like me going out that much either, because he thinks that I'm becoming too independent. 
That's a waste. I think it's much rarer nowadays to find a couple that aren't both working. Yeah, that reminds me. I've got a day where my shift ends early this week, so I'll drop by and see how you and Dad are doing after I'm done at work. Great. I'm looking forward to it. I've actually got something I want to talk to you about in person, so I'll talk to you about it then. Sure. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I'll be happy to give you a hand. Yusuaki has always been a gentle, reliable older brother, and it's thanks to him that I was able to continue to believe in myself and do things my own way, no matter how hard it was to live with Misaki. Dad, it's so good to see you. I've missed you so much. I'm sorry that I didn't come to visit you sooner. What are you talking about? I'm just happy that you're here right now and that I can see your face. You don't have to apologize for anything. Anyway, I've been hearing some things from Yasuaki about you and your husband. Are things okay? You're not having any more trouble with him, are you? I may be pretty weak now, and I don't think that I can do much for you, but that doesn't mean that I don't worry about you. I'm your dad. I want you to tell me if you're not happy. Talk to me. D dad... <laughs> When my dad urged me to talk to him, I couldn't stop the tears that I had been holding in for so long, and I cried and cried. When I had calmed down, I decided to tell my dad everything that had happened between myself and Masaki. All of the complaints and grudges that had been piling up inside me came tumbling out when my dad was done listening. Do you want to know the reason why I married your mother? It was because I felt that we would support each other, no matter how tough things got, no matter how unhappy our circumstances. We would pull through together. I trusted her, and she trusted me. What? I think a lot of people still use the typical wedding vows for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, etc, etc, and I think that it makes a pretty good point. It's most important to stick by each other when your partner is suffering. A person's true colors are most likely to show when they're in a tough spot or if they feel that they're unhappy. I think the trick for a good marriage is if you can find someone that will support you in tough times, just as they would if you were healthy. If you and your partner can't do that, then I imagine your marriage won't last very long. What do you think, Yukiko? Do you think that Masaki will support you and stay by your side in sickness and in health, for better or for worse? Can you do the same? Well, I don't know. You've got to think very carefully about it and decide what you want to do when you find the answer. Oh, never mind your old man's nonsense. I almost forgot that Yasuaki said that he had something he wanted to talk to you about. Right, Yasuaki? A favor you said you wanted to ask her? Oh yeah, the truth is, I've actually... W what Then you want me to... Hello? Dad? What's up? What?! No way! All right, we'll be right there! What's the matter? My mom's collapsed! I've got to go see her ASAP! Yukiko, you'll come with me, right? All right, I'll go with you. Masaki, Yukiko, thanks for coming on such short notice. I'm so glad you're here. Of course we come! So, where's mom? Is she doing okay? She's not in any danger anymore. But apparently, it was something called a subarachnoid hemorrhage. It's likely that she'll suffer from the after effects. She's lost feeling in the lower right half of her body, and her doctor tells me that it might stay that way. What? So she'll be paralyzed? We don't know for sure yet. The doctors are still conducting tests. I can't say anything for certain, but I wanted to talk to the both of you about what we can do from now on. If possible, I'd like you to come back another time and stay for a few days so that we can discuss some things. Of course, Dad. Don't worry about that. We'll stay. Right, Yukiko? Yes, of course. What's the matter with you, Yukiko? Why are you being so silent? Are you even listening to anything we're saying? It's nothing. I'm listening to everything you're saying, but I'll need to let my manager know that I need some time off, so tell me when you've confirmed your holiday with your office, Misaki. Misaki and his dad seemed confused by the way that I was distancing myself from their conversation, and seemed to wonder why I was acting so cold, but I didn't care how puzzled they looked. That was part of my plan. Thank you for coming to visit, Misaki. Mom, how are you feeling? Does anything hurt? I can't move my right leg. It feels numb. I've got pins and needles. My doctor said that I might be able to move it again if I work hard at rehabilitation, but it doesn't sound like it will be easy. It'll be difficult for me to do things around the house like I've been doing up until now. It's going to take time to recover. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was wondering if you would both be open to living together. If you don't mind, that is. Of course you can move in with us! We'll start renovating the house to make it barrier-free, too! You don't have to be so shy! I'll do whatever I can to make you guys comfortable! Let me know if there's anything else I can do! Really, Masaki? You don't know how happy I am to hear that. Um, excuse me? What, Yukiko? Do you have a problem with what I just said? Go ahead and say it! No, I'm not going to complain about anything. I just want you to sign on this dotted line. That's all. The document I held up in front of Masaki's face were divorced papers that I had already filled in. The moment they saw what I held in my hands, my husband and his family all went pale from shock. After a short pause, Misaki went bright red before he began yelling at me in front of his parents. What the hell are you thinking? What's wrong with you? 
Are you crazy? Are you seriously asking me for a divorce in this situation? Are you out of your mind? When my dad collapsed, you refused to do anything to help him. You refused to let me help him. My older brother ended up having to keep our father at his small apartment while my dad's house is being renovated. Even though I asked you if my dad could stay with us in our spare room, begged you to let him stay for just a short while, but you insisted that we didn't have enough money to afford that, and even disliked the idea of me going out to work part-time. You refused to do as I wanted to do, and you expect me to follow your orders and welcome your parents into our home? It seemed that Masaki's parents didn't know anything about my dad's accident, because they both looked confused by what I was saying. Masaki? What is she talking about? I didn't say anything like that! I just thought that we would be having kids soon! We're not pregnant, and it's not that difficult to stay that way if we try. My dad could have been staying with us short-term without any problem, and you even complained when I said that I would be paying for the renovation out of my own savings. It was money that I had earned while I was still single, so you had no right to complain about how I spend it. Even when I said that I wanted to work part-time to send some money to my brother to ease up the burden of taking care of our dad alone, you made it sound like I was being difficult. You wouldn't stop making horrible remarks about me, not being a good wife, and on and on. And yet, the second your parents need to come and live with us, you give them the all clear on the spot without even asking for my opinion. What is wrong with you? I don't want to stay married to someone as selfish and self-serving as you anymore. I want a divorce. I bombarded him with all of the anger and hate that had been welling up inside me over the past few months. It was a good thing that I had prepared all the documents necessary ever since I first felt that I could no longer trust him. I just didn't know when I should bring the topic up with him, and had been looking for a chance to throw the documents in his face when he had decided to welcome his parents into our home without even consulting me first, after everything he had said about not wanting to let my- It didn't even take him a second. He said yes on the spot, right in front of me. There was no way I could forgive him for being so selfish. It was now or never. Quit screwing around, Yukiko! You're my wife! It's your job to take care of my parents! You can't say no! And you can't just demand a divorce because you don't want to let them live with us! That's not a good enough reason to have a divorce! You've been listening to me? Everything I've been saying to you has just gone into one ear and out the other. You don't care. That's it. It's obvious that we can't talk our way through this, so I'll just have to call my lawyer and have him go through the documents with you on my behalf. Hey, you can go! I'm not done talking to you! I turned around to leave my in-law's house, when Misaki suddenly grabbed me by the arm and stopped me from heading for the door. Let go of me! Why the hell do you think I married you? I only married you because I thought you were submissive and would be obedient enough to do as I tell you to! I thought that you would be happy to be a housewife and take care of my parents when they got old. But all of a sudden, you say that you want to get a part-time job and complain that you don't want to let my parents live with us? Don't screw with me! You caught me! Hearing his true intentions made the last of the feelings I had for him dry up and wither away. I finally realized that there had been no love between us when we got married. He just wanted to use me. I was the one that had been deceived. Couldn't help but regret that I had ended up wasting two whole years with this man. Felt nothing but despair at how much of an idiot I had been for marrying him. Masaki, you fool! Uh, Yukiko! I'm so sorry for my son's behavior. To tell you the truth, we didn't know that your father had been in an accident and that he's currently being taken care of by your brother. It's the first time that we've heard of that. My dad fell down the stairs to a footbridge and broke both his legs. He also hit his head on the concrete steps very hard and currently can't walk without help from myself or my brother. He's been in a wheelchair ever since the accident. My brother and I were brought up by my father alone. So I'm aware that we're both very attached to him, a lot more than other children are with their fathers. I wanted to let him stay with Misaki and myself until the renovation of his house was finished, since we have a spare room, but Misaki refused to let him, saying that it would be a waste of money just letting him stay with us. I can't ever forgive him for being so selfish, and for being so cold towards the man that did everything to raise me and my brother. Yukiko. Would you come here, please? I swallowed and walked over to where my mother-in-law was laying in the bed, wondering what she was going to say and how she was going to lecture me. But I didn't care. I wasn't going to give in to anything she said. I didn't think I was wrong. 
but when I made it to her bedside, she held out her hand and slowly squeezed both of my hands. Both myself and my husband heard from Masaki that you were a generous and kind wife and that you would be happy to care for us if either of us ever fell ill. He urged us not to worry because you wouldn't say no to letting us live with you. He told us that we should tell him as soon as we felt that it was necessary to move in together, whenever we felt the time was right. What? But we believed what Misaki told us without ever confirming with you. I'm sorry that we jumped to conclusions. I can understand why you'd have doubts about living with us after being treated like that. It's only natural that you'd feel like you had been betrayed and want to get a divorce. For that, I'd hate for you to suffer any more with our stupid son. You deserve so much more than that. You don't know how much that means to me. We won't move in with We'll sell this house and we'll use that money to move into a care home instead. My husband can use the leftover money to find an apartment where he can live on his own. What do you think about that, dear? I think that that's much better than going to live with Masaki. I agree. I think that's a much better idea. Let's do that. W wait, wait a minute! You can't sell your house?! I'll be in trouble if you do that! I'm supposed to inherit that house in the future! You can't take that away from me! Shut it, Masaki! I don't consider you my son anymore! I can't believe you do something so despicable! I'm embarrassed that you could treat your wife like that! What? But I did all of this for you and mom! I worked so hard to save money for a situation like this! It's true that you must have felt a lot of pressure, since you're our only son, and must have been worried that you would have to take care of us in old age, but we've never once told you that you have to live with us. We've never made you promise to let us move in with you. Have we ever said anything of the sort? Well, no, but... We were happy enough if you lived happily ever after with your wife. That was all we wanted for you. We just wanted you to start your own family and to meet our grandchildren. And yet, you didn't even think to fulfill the wishes of the woman you married and treat her with respect. You had the nerve to treat her like she was a maid and confine her within your own selfish rules. I don't know where we went wrong with raising you, but it's clear that we were at fault. Asaki, I don't ever want to see you ever again. I want you to sign the divorce papers that Yukiko has brought and hurry up and get out of our house. You're not welcome here. After being told off by his parents, Masaki's shoulders slumped and he finally took the divorce papers and signed on the dotted line. I don't need any of Masaki's money or any compensation, but in return, would you mind keeping Masaki at your home while I pack my things back up at our house and while I withdraw the money I earn for my job from our joint account? I'd prefer not to talk to him unless we have a lawyer or someone present. I don't feel comfortable being alone with him. Of course, Yukiko. Whatever you say, and we'll make sure that he pays you compensation. He owes you that much. No, that really is fine. Instead of that, I was hoping that he would deal with selling the apartment and getting rid of the furniture. I won't need anything, but thank you both. I'm so sorry for not being able to take care of you as you wanted. I'm so grateful to both of you for being so kind to me ever since I married Masaki and for supporting our divorce. Thank you. I bowed my head towards both of them and rushed out of the house to get back to mine and Masaki's apartment. I packed all of my things and returned to my dad's house to live with my dad and brother. Yukiko, welcome back home. Did everything go well? Yeah, I'm finally free. It's all over. That's great news. Your expression's a lot brighter than it's been in the past few months. It's been a long time since we all last lived together, but let's take it easy and support each other. Yeah, thanks, Yusuaki. I can't wait. Yusuaki, let's have something to eat. What? It's already time for lunch? Perfect, I'm starving. Dad says he's going to have lunch with the members of the senior get-together, so it's just us. Good for him. He's lost a little weight these past few weeks, so I hope he eats a lot. Six months after I divorced Masaki, I've been enjoying a calm and peaceful life with my brother and my dad back at home. I'm much happier than I was when I was with Masaki. And I've also resigned from the part-time job I took on to send my brother some money every month. Recently, I've started helping my brother out with his work from home. When I came to visit my dad and brother all those months ago, the favor that Yusaki wanted to ask me was actually about that work. He told me that if I ever wanted to split up with Masaki and come live with them, that he wanted me to help him with his new job, since he had only just started a new venture and was really busy. I had never done that type of work before, so I didn't know if I could actually fulfill his expectations, and was pretty worried, but now, half a year later, I finally made it to the level where my brother has been relying on me a lot more to finish things for him. Even I can start to see that I've improved in a short amount of time. Whew, I think that's it for today. All right, I better go and do the shopping and think about what to make for dinner. Ooh!
You've spent enough time living with your dad. Hurry up and come back home. You should be with me. What? What are you talking about? We're already divorced. Why would I go and live with you again? What are you doing here? You can't make me get back together with you. I never wanted to get divorced. Yukiko, let's get married again. We're getting back together. No, I don't want to. Go back home. If you don't leave right now, I'm going to call the police on you. Before I could turn away, Masaki suddenly grabbed my arm and gripped it hard. It hurt so much that I couldn't even raise my voice, and I was so terrified that he might hurt me that I ended up falling on my knees. I had to come here because you disobeyed me! This is your own fault! I had to do this! S someone Someone help! What the hell do you think you're doing to my little sister, dumbass? Yukiko, are you okay? Breathe. Breathe slowly. Yeah. I'm okay. He just grabbed my arm, that's all. What are you doing? That's my line, idiot! You're already divorced, so give up already! Don't get so hung up over the past! Just how obsessed are you? I haven't accepted that divorce! I only signed those papers because my parents told me to! I had no choice! Not because I wanted to! You and Yukiko were already finished when you had to leave such an important decision to your parents and couldn't even decide how to do things for yourself. It's over. And FYI, I've already called the police. You're going to pay for this. My entire life has been ruined because I married you. It's all your fault. You've screwed everything up for me. Oh, really? Well, I'm grateful. It's thanks to being married to a man like you that I was finally able to realize what's most important in life. Those two years have taught me a lot of important life lessons that I'll never ever forget. I've decided that I'm not going to waste my time blaming you for everything that happened to me. Why don't you do the same and learn to spend your own time to better yourself? Spend the time you've got for yourself and don't ever come back here. I don't want to see you ever again. I told him exactly how I felt and was finally able to part with Misaki once and for all. I was never going to be bothered by him again. To do that, I filed for a restraining order and had him sign a contract stating that he would pay a fine for $1,000 if he ever came within 100 feet of me again, or ever tried to make contact with me. After they found out what had happened, Misaki's parents apologized again for his behavior and wished me well. Apparently, my father-in-law has kept the whereabouts of my mother-in-law's care home a secret from Masaki, and hasn't told him where his own address is either. I'm very disappointed in him, Yukiko. Neither of us can forgive him for being so selfish. So we've made up our minds to cut ties with him, and live the rest of our lives in peace. I'm just sorry that I couldn't do anything to help you, or stop him from going to see you. It's fine. Please don't worry about me. If you ever need anything, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you. I wouldn't have been able to divorce Misaki if it weren't for you both, and I'd like to do something to thank you. Thank you, Yukiko. But never mind us. We just want you to be happy. And for your dad to be healthy, too. That's all we want. I didn't hear anything from my father-in-law after that. There must have been something I could have done for him, but it was probably his way of setting things straight. As for me, I'm currently... Hello! Clap clap! This is Yasuaki Nursing Care Channel. Thanks for coming to watch. Today, I'd like to go through a few upper body exercises with you guys. First, let's start with... The truth is, my brother started studying to become a caregiver when he began taking care of our dad at his apartment. Apparently, caregivers need more than just three years of practical experience. So in order for him to pass the state exam and acquire a certificate as an official care worker, he's got to deal with three years of hard work and patience first. My brother decided to make the most of that time to start a YouTube channel and post videos of him studying for the exam and vlog about his daily activities and routines with our dad. He was able to start making money on his channel and he's gained some attention as an up-and-coming nursing care influencer. I'm currently working on editing and posting the videos he makes. In the beginning, he told me that he wanted my help because he wanted to save as much money as possible and cut back on costs, but it turned out to be a lot more fun than I expected it would be, and I'm even accepting jobs from other channels. I'm working completely from home and have been taking a fair amount of money from my efforts. You really never know how life might turn out. It's just full of surprises. Yeah, you're right. I never would have tried any of this if I didn't have some savings and if I wasn't single, but I'm glad that I went all out and gave it a try. I'm counting on you to help me, little sis. It's time for me to raise the curtains on my second life. I can't wait.